My understanding from Dr. Cusimano, your family physician, is that you collapsed, possibly a panic attack. You were unable to breathe. They said it was a panic attack. Of course, all the uh, blood work and the neurological work came back negative. And they sent me here. You don't agree that you had a panic attack? <sighs> How are you feeling now? Good. Fine. Back at work. What line of work are you in? Waste management consultant. Look, it's impossible for me to talk to a psychiatrist. Any thoughts at all on why you blacked out? I don't know. Stress, maybe. So she finally agreed to have somebody come in days. And Carmela called an agency, and they sent over this Trinidadian woman. But no matter what I do, I feel guilty. Why? Well, the real reason is I know I can't let her live with us. That doesn't seem very practical, given her personality. What's my wife? She won't allow it. Where are your sisters in all this? Oh, they cut it off with her a long time ago. No way she's bunking with them. So you're carrying all this guilt when your mother is clearly someone who has great difficulty in maintaining a relationship with anyone. But she's my mother. You're supposed to take care of your mother. She's a little old lady. Not to you. She's very powerful. Bullshit. You accord this little old lady an almost mystical ability to wreak havoc. Well, let me tell you something. You definitely don't want to get her started. There are some people who are not ideal candidates for parenthood. Come on. She's an old sweetie pie. What's that, a trick picture out there? Which? The barn. And the old tree all rotted out inside. It's just a picture I bought, um... I, I remember in a little gallery in Provincetown. That is a special-made psychological picture. Like that, uh... That what-do-you-call-it test. The Korshak. You think I want to trick you? Hmm. What does that picture say to you? It says, hey, asshole, we're from Harvard, and what do you think of this spooky, depressing barn and this rotted-out tree we put here? It's depressing and scary to you? Not to me. But it's got that built right into it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just told you my true feelings. So why don't you tell me what's really going on? The tree in the painting, ride it out, you said? There's nothing in that picture to indicate that. The fucking painting. I knew that was a fucking scam. I knew that painting was a fucking scam. You remember your dream? The ducks? It took on another meaning. What happens to a tree that's rotted out? Trees, ducks, what the fuck are you, Ranger Rick? I'll tell you, some job you shrink, Scott, you think everybody's lying to you while you're pulling scams on them. Fuck you! I'm having second thoughts. About? This whole thing, this whole arrangement. Security. I mean, I come here, I tell you things, I don't know how safe it is. I understand your concerns. But I told you what the ground rules are. As long as I don't hear anything incriminating... You don't fucking get it. Just my being here incriminates me. Somebody sees me, they tell somebody else, all of a sudden I'm a celebrity. I thought we made some progress on your narcissism. Who are you? Why is that so important for you to know? You know, my mother told me never to answer a question with a question. So, your mother did teach you something. Look, if I asked you about your life, who you talk to, who you trust... I'd have to take the fifth. 
It's cute. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware of what I was saying. I'm sorry. How's it going? Good. Real good. As a matter of fact, I think I, I may flush the medication, you know? See if the changes I'm feeling are for real. Why would you do that? The Prozac seems to be working. Well, that might be the problem. It might be working a little overtime. Look, I gotta ask you one more question about my son. You think I should go easy on him now or press him a little harder? Well, that's difficult to say. We want to raise, maybe? Figure this out? It's not definite. I just thought I'd tell you, you know, in case I don't show for an appointment. So you're telling me that you're planning a vacation, but you're not sure exactly when it will be. Right. I may never go. Let's put it this way. There's a strong possibility that it could happen. The judicial system has gotten much better in dealing with sexual predators. Oh, yeah. Let's impeach him. If you're telling me of intent to harm this person, I must warn you of my duty to alert law enforcement. I don't know why I tell you anything. I'm interested in why you feel punishing this man falls upon you. Well, it sure doesn't fall upon you. What do you mean? What would you do? You'd call the cops. Who gets some judge? Who'd give him psychiatric counseling? So maybe he could talk about his unhappy childhood and, and, and we could have sympathy for the fuck. Because he's a real victim here, right? You know what you do? You stick your head in the sand. Because that's what people like you do. Discredit psychology all you want. But I continue to ask the question. Why do you think you, Anthony Soprano, always has to set things right? So? Come on, you're Italian. You understand. Guys like me were brought up to think the men are gonna fucking bores. The truth is, the average white man is is no more boring than the millionth conversation over over who should have won, Marciano or Ali. So, am I to understand that you don't consider yourself white? I don't mean white like Caucasian. I mean a white man, like our friend Cusimano. Now he's Italian, but he's a Menegan. He's what my old man would have called the Wonder Bread Wop. You know, he eats his Sunday gravy out of a jar. You seem to want to branch out. What's stopping you? The guys, you know, what they think if I started hanging out with the Metagon. Let me ask you a question. This mental stuff can cause physical problems, right? Are you having any physical problems? No, no, I'm fine. But I got a friend, a dear, dear friend, and I'm concerned about him. What's wrong with him? It's his back. See, he, he he's complaining about his back, but I think the doctor thinks it's all in his head. That's very possible. What do you think? I think we should just keep this about you. This is about me. Every time I offer my opinion about any of your friends, it seems to interfere with our therapy. I gotta know something. And I want the truth. Did you ever tell anybody about you and me? I may have mentioned something to my immediate family that I had a patient who was in some trouble with all the stuff we were hearing about in the news. I never mentioned a name or any other specifics that could identify you as that person. Does your family know? My mother's made a few comments, but I don't see how she knows. And if she did. Hey, don't even go there about the old lady. It means intense anxiety, a joylessness. 
These people's internal phobias are the only things that exist to them. The real world, real people are peripheral. These people have no love or compassion. Borderline personalities are very good at splitting behavior, creating bitterness and conflict between others in their circle. Oh, twisted fucking bitch. That's my mother we're talking about, not some fuck up in Attica, stab you in the shower. Relax. See, we're through, you and I. We're finished. And you're lucky if I don't break your fucking face in 50,000 pieces. Okay. Don't yell. Don't scream. Old cutlery stays right where it is. How's the bagels in this place? Come on, you don't answer my calls. I got no choice. Walking away is a choice. Ruining my practice, it's a choice. You got your office back. No harm done. One of my patients committed suicide because I wasn't available to her. You know what that means to me? She can't eat bagels. She can't call in sick because she's feeling blue. She's gone. She's in the ground because of you. All right, I don't deserve your help. I hate your fucking system, I told you. Fuck you. Yo, Bright Eyes. Where you going? The Palo, this isn't the bang, huh? The fuck did I say? Hey, have you been? Can't complain. You look good. Where are your friends going? Yeah, tell them to come back, join us. No, they're leaving. It's my first time here. The veal is excellent. What, are we making small talk now? Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Toodaloo. Bye-bye. I'm going to be in total control. There's no such thing as total control. Of course there is. You want to be a better gang leader? Read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. You know what? Fuck you. You know who I am. You know what I do. You called me. You know where I was yesterday when you called? No. I was outside a whorehouse. Well, the guy that works for me was inside beating the shit out of a guy that owes me money. Broke his arm. Put a bullet in his kneecap. How'd that make you feel? Wish there was me in there. Giving the beating or taking it? I see some guy walking down the street, you know, with a, with a clear head. You know the type. He's always fucking whistling, like the happy fucking wanderer. And I just want to go up to him, and I just want to rip his throat open. I want to fucking grab him and pummel him right there for no reason. Why should I give a shit if a guy's got a clear head? I should say, I salute. Good for you. Let's get back to smashing my face. Jesus Christ. Oh. No, I, I think it all ties in. All right. Sometimes I resent you making me a victim. That's all. I make you feel like a victim. Yeah. Remember the first time I came here, I, I said, the kind of man I admire is Gary Cooper, the strong, silent type. And how all Americans, all they're doing is crying and confessing and complaining. A bunch of fucking pussies. Fuck them. And now I'm one of them. A patient. Your parents made it impossible for you to experience joy. Yeah, see? There you go again. You said yourself you're not the happy wanderer. Well, I'm more like one of those assholes than I am the fucking jerk-offs and douchebags I see leaving this office. And in general, the whole strain of the current atmosphere in your household. But that don't give him the right to mouth off. Sounds to me like Anthony Jr. may have stumbled onto existentialism. Fucking internet. No, no, no. It's a European philosophy. After World War II, people were disillusioned by the sheer weight of the horrors. And that's when the whole idea took root, that there were no absolute truths. You believe that? In your family, even motherhood is up for debate. No, it's not. I teach him to love and respect and appreciate his mother. What about your mother? 
Anthony, I think it's important we talk about your mother and what she tried to do to you. Don't need to. She showed her true colors, that's all. Here's something that's been bothering me. I gave my daughter a car. Really? Yeah, used car. One of those SUVs, you know, a 92 Pathfinder. See, the thing is, it, it belonged to a friend of hers from school, and it came into my possession because of a debt incurred to me by the kid's father, and this is the way he elected to make payment. You gave her her friend's car? It was a nice, safe car to which I had the pink slip. What's bothering you? I must have known that she'd know that it was this fucking kid Eric's car and uh, how I got it, you know, and she'd freak out. Then why'd you give it to her? I don't know. Do you think he'll go to hell? No. He's not the type that deserves hell. Who do you think does? The worst people. The twisted and demented psychos who, who, who kill people for pleasure, the cannibals, the degenerate bastards that molest and, and torture little kids and they kill babies, the Hitlers, the Paul Potts. Those are the evil fucks that deserve to die. Not my nephew. What about you? What? Hell? You been listening to me? No. For the same reasons. For soldiers, you know. Soldiers don't go to hell. It's war. Soldiers, they kill other soldiers. We're in a situation where everybody involved knows the stakes. And if you're going to accept those stakes, you got to do certain things. It's business. We're soldiers. We follow codes, orders. I could be going away for a very long time for something I didn't do. How about, gee, that's too bad, Anthony, or what a shame, Tony. We can't go into specifics on this. Well, here's something specific. I didn't do anything wrong. We're not supposed to talk about it. I could be going to the camp for the rest of my fucking life, and I'm not supposed to discuss it with my psychiatrist? What the fuck are you for, anyway? What's the matter? You still in mourning over the coming of managed care? Go on. And what's the point? I mean, you go to Italy, you lift some weights, you watch a movie. It's all a series of distractions till you die. I hear depression talking. Yeah, well, I'm not up on my dosage. Medication, medication, medication. What do I got to show for it? Who knows where you'd be without the medication? Anyway, some people take pleasure in the simple doing of things. Yeah, well, the things I take pleasure in, I can't do. Currently trying to change my business profile, if you know what I mean. Oh, so it's all about your legal problems. How many women I've been through? I don't know why I just don't say fuck her with this one. Why do you think? Well, she's a sweet kid underneath it all, and I think she's seriously depressed. You feel for her. I'm interested in why you're ending it. What do you mean, why? Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? I mean, aren't you telling me that all the time in here? I don't think I've ever passed judgment on your sex life or any patient's sex life. Even if I'm 20 years older than her and I'm married? What's wrong with you? Why now? Why now? Of course, it's not fun anymore, OK? Are you going to recommend somebody or not? I'm not saying that it's not serious, but a year ago, your mother colluded to have you killed, yet you never say boo about that, even when I try to elicit. If she tried to have you killed a year ago, believe me, in your childhood, she's inflicted serious psychic injuries that are still there. <laughs> Poor me. And your father, the gangster, tough guy, 
But did he protect you kids from this borderline mother? What the hell was going on there? What is this? Hmm? Little snacks for Thor for me to take home? I haven't pushed you enough to confront these things. Somewhere along the line, I became frightened of you. Frightened? Maybe I should have seen that clearer in the beginning. Maybe, baby. But here's the thing. I'm glad she's dead. Not just glad, I wished she'd die. Wished. Got this court case coming up. She might have testified against me, so when I heard she was dead, relief flooded into my veins. How do you feel about the fact that your own mother would have testified against you? Oh, come on. Will you listen to yourself? I mean, is that right? Wish, wishing her dead? Is that being a good son? A good son? Yeah, a good son. I mean, bad sons are... Bad sons what? They should fucking die. That's a fucking miserable, disgusting thing to be a bad son. I mean, your kid up at Bard. He better be a good son, right? My daughter brought home a black. And they were on a couch watching TV, snuggling. And? And uh, she went upstairs, and I had a frank conversation with Buckwheat. You know, I told him to stay the fuck away from my daughter. And she came downstairs, and they left. And then you had the attack. No, no, not right then. I uh, went to the kitchen to fix a sandwich. I opened the cabinet. I saw a box of Uncle Ben's rice. Boom. I see. The rice logo. The first onset of hyperventilation that occurred upon seeing the rice? Mm. No, no, I was uh, taking the gabagool and shit out of the fridge. I'm thinking when you first came here, the panic attack with ducks? As I remember it, you were grilling meat, weren't you? The memory on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sausages, wasn't it? Sausages, steaks, yep. Well, let's get back to that gabagool. I gotta take that. It's my busy season. <sighs> what are you? What's the matter? What's the matter? Go sit over there. I'll do this. Go. It, it's just my knee. It's okay. Go on. What? I mean, you, you want to say something? No. And then you pass out and you blame the rest of the fucking world. Yeah, I love you too. You're both very angry. Yeah, you must have been at the top of your fucking class. Particularly quiet today. Sometimes I got nothing to say. Anthony, Carmela is here. She's giving up her time to talk about your panic attacks. A young man who worked for us. Our own sanitation. He, uh, he died. Who? Who? You don't know. He died, that's all. Work related death. C. 
said when they go so young. Bam. Come wide awake. Something specific? It's a management problem. It's, it, it's a situation with an underling. Now, it's partly my fault. But he never should have done what he did. What was it? Could you tell me that? Caused the early retirement of somebody else. I think it was unimportant. He fucked up. Now, ordinarily, I would just, uh, you know, put him out the pasture. But he's a very valuable piece of manpower. Is it complicated by a personal relationship? I've been reading that, uh, that book you told me about. You know, the Art of War by Sun Tzu. I mean, here's this guy. Chinese general wrote this thing 2,400 years ago. And most of it still applies today. Balked the enemy's power, forced him to reveal himself. Uh, I have to ask, are you in any sort of danger? No, no. Can I go on? You know, most of the guys that I know, they read Prince Machiavelli. And I had come out of going at the Cliff Notes once, and he's okay. But this book is much better about strategy. How are things between you and Carmela? She was moody for a little while, but uh, now she's her old self. Maybe it was coming here. Possibly. Well, you do look happy, I must say. Yeah. Went to the zoo the other day. The zoo? Mm. You know, sometimes you got to get away and stop and smell the gorilla shit. It's good to be in nature, though. And the zoo made you happy? Yeah. I think a lot of it's because of you, too. Put a lot of time into me. Now it's... It's paying off. The progress that you make is entirely up to you and how willing you are to be honest with yourself and with me. Well, I haven't proven. You have to joyfully participate in the suffering of the world. Your thoughts have a kind of Eastern flavor to them. Well, I've lived in Jersey my whole life. I mean Eastern in terms of Asian, like Buddhist or Taoist. Sun Tzu. I told you about him. We have to stop now. Well, I was feeling good. All of a sudden, I'm back to square one. What do you mean? I had another one of those attacks this morning. Not the whole thing. Uh, it was right there, under the surface, that Feeling like I got ginger ale on my brain. Are you taking your medication? Not every day. But Is that what the prescription says? Uh, another thing to feel bad about. Well, can you tell me what led up to this? You know my log? I was supposed to write everything down for you. Hmm? Look, just a list of shit I gotta do for Christmas. All the pressure we put on ourselves this time of the year. I call it stress, miss. That's cute. I was looking forward to Christmas this year. No shit. Now here I go, right back in a fucking rabbit hole. I'm fucked up here. Because one minute she's fine, next minute she's a fucking lunatic. I asked you whether or not she seemed like a happy person. Oh, and by that I'm supposed to know she's gonna throw a fucking roast beef at my head. Read into things however you choose. Why does everything got to be so hard? But I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I do the right thing by my family. Doesn't that count for anything? Dependent-minded. That I do like. 
You see her as independent, strong. Why, she's not? We're talking about your perceptions. She made her own way in the world. Irina was such a helpless fucking baby. Gloria knows a lot, but a lot of shit. Buddhism and the movies. She went to Morocco all by herself. Those eyes. Those dark black eyes. When she stares at you, it's like a... Like a Spanish princess in one of those paintings, you know, a goyim. Those eyes are deep. Complicated. I said deep. You said complicated. You said dark. I spit it out. And whenever I bring her up, you get this weird push. And then you ask me, does she seem happy? Like maybe she's not. Or does she remind you of somebody with that weird push on? Like you don't like it. A uh, mofo or whatever the fuck you call our relationship. You've told me what you see in Gloria. What do you think she sees in you? Oh, please, huh? Fortunately, they were no longer boyfriend and girlfriend. How's your daughter taking it? Not very well. You certainly saw it coming with this boy, didn't you? In the end, I failed him. What the fuck are you gonna do? Well, today. Tell you one thing, though. I'm not gonna make the same mistake with AJ. Got expelled. Him was sitting in the military school. You know, we never discussed exactly what you want for your children. I don't want them to end up in Bootin with their face blown off. You followed your father into his business. I didn't have a choice. I try to make sure my kids have every opportunity. But I was going to Columbia, for Christ's sakes. Wants to be some kind of a professional woman. Like you. A psychiatrist? And I have to listen to guys like me whine all day. 